be so much kol kol to one Hashem. Who you chakalach? And that's life. That's what it is like. So how do you get there? You throw yourself into His Torah. You throw yourself into His learning, and you learn the hasmada and the gia. You'll love it, and it'll sink into your bones, and then you'll dance with it, and then you'll sing it. <laughs> How can I, who haven't had these nisyanos, I'm lucky enough to be in yeshiva all the years, how can I talk to people who are, uh, get up, go to work, are busy at work, come home exhausted, and they pull themselves into the base madrish? I, uh, I feel smaller than them. When we sit in a room where you're in shul, everything looks mundane and it looks, you know, like physical. But when you look at the Nefesh Chaim and you understand what the Koyach and the Tfil is, and so then you look at davening, you look at learning in a whole different light. And I'm sure that that's your hardcore. Your hardcore are guys that work. I don't, I don't even have to go check. The hardcore of a successful Kehillah on which more and more layers add are guys that learn from me. Am I wrong? I'm seven years old. I just know I want to write a cipher. So I sat down and I was sitting and I cried. Like, what do I do now? I remember it like yesterday. So maybe in that schus could very well be that the child of tears left the Roshim. can be tiny, there's the same difference, another person can be Mount Everest, he can be a hundred million times bigger, his spirit, or the same person who he is today, could be a hundred million times bigger than he is today. I say this to everyone, he says, the of you is only one Emerus, and he's from ten Emerus. So, because of Chayri Shudah was, was Kimi the Kibu, even Kabul is a Torah, the Hav, the Roots. That's one of the one we see the kid. here to comment about the ways of Hashem, but the more I started opening up my eyes and feeling the truth in life and understanding what the world's really all about, I saw all these things in my life, 180 degree turn. Vadal, you didn't do anything. What can I do? I'm not capable. I don't know how to learn. I don't know how to, I don't have money to give. You have a smile? Give a smile. You have a good word? Help your friend, your neighbor. Any little thing. Simple nothing. You have no idea what you did now. But if you want your kids to stay from, your most important priority is to number one, be honest. They shouldn't see any hypocrisy. And number two, do whatever is in your power from the earliest age 
I should have a warm feeling towards you. I think it's important for us to just, you know, understand, like, what are our core missions in life? What are, what's our skill set? What, what can we really uh, be great at? And, and just, you know, develop that sense of working from there. Who decided that your tafkid in life is to be a Rosh Hashiva? I said, what if your tafkid in life is to get out of bed in the morning? You know, when things don't go the way we want them to, we see them as distractions for what our life is supposed to be about, rather than realizing that that's probably what our life was supposed to be about. But if you go up the steep plank, you can't skip steps. You go slowly, you have to take every step. That's the way it goes up to the Mizbech. That's the way you grow in Ruchnius. If you remember you're on a plank, you can't stop. Start sliding back. And you remember you take a small step at a time. <laughs>